important sailing terminology to know. The right side of a boat is known as a starboard. The left side is called the microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I also want to thank Casper for sponsoring this episode. Stay tuned for the season finale of Sleeper Things later in this video. One of my missions on Woodworking for Mere Mortals is to show people that you don't need laser cutters and CNC machines, 3D printers, or need to spend thousands of dollars on tools to make some really fun projects. A rubber band boat is a great summertime project anyone can make. In fact, you'll probably want to make more than one so that you can race them. It would be a fun group project too. Normally I would use my table saw or band saw to make this. I might even make it extra fancy using my router. But I thought it would be fun to put my money where my mouth is and try to make this with nothing but hand tools and a drill. Going all medieval. <laughs> what am I getting myself into? I'm starting with a four and a half inch wide board. These are sold as one by fives at Home Depot. I'm making the boat the same width as this board so I don't have to make any cuts in the long direction. I have free plans for this project down in the description, including a metric version, but think of these as a starting point and have fun customizing this boat however you like. First, I'll cut this to the length of the boat. Kicking it old school. If you want, you can glue my cutting template to the board or just lay it out and draw lines using my measurements. What I'm gonna do is mark the cuts using a knife. I need to drill some entry holes for my coping saw to cut out that middle section. I think this would be a lot easier if I had a low bench to work on. I could get better leverage, but this is all right for this one piece. Or it would be better to work upright. Or just plug in my jigsaw. <laughs> well, there you go. Perfectly straight cut. Don't worry, I'll clean it up and make it look real pretty. <laughs> this is actually one of my handiest kinds of sanders. I actually use these even on power tool projects and it's just a piece of plywood that I've spray mounted some sandpaper to. Now I can just cut out the front of the boat. I'll see how straight I could drill through the side of the boat. I'm gonna use this block here to help prevent the backside from splitting out when the drill goes through. And a couple of holes where I've marked them on the top. I'll cut a couple of pieces off this dowel. Making the paddle might be a little tricky. I'm gonna see if I can resaw this board into thinner pieces. Well, it's not exactly the straightest cut in the world, but hey, I, that just reminds people that this is handmade, not like that mass-produced, factory-made junk. Okay, let's see how this cut goes. Well, here you can see where that thickness cut 
wasn't very straight. So I'll see if I can sand those at least close to even. It's not too bad. You just try to get that level of charm with a CNC. Now comes a tricky part. I need both of these pieces to interlock at 90 degrees. So I'll see if I can cut a slot down the middle of both of these pieces at the same time. Oh, let's try it. Yeah. When I glued those dowels in, they went deeper than this side hole, so I need to re-drill it. And I think I'm gonna make it a little bit wider, too. All right, a little more sanding and shaping, and I'll be ready to paint and finish. I'd like to test this out in water first to see if it's seaworthy before I paint it, but I'd have to wait for that to dry and I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna live life on the edge and paint it now. And I shall christen thee the good ship Princess Meow Meow. These are number 64 sized rubber bands that I'm using. So I'll just feed one end of the rubber band through this hole. It helps to have something to poke it in with. It's just a little piece of a dowel. And then this wraps around there. Then this end pokes through that hole. So the paddle just drops in like this. And then just wind it up as tight as you can. Phil, I, I know you said you wanted to stay in the underneath because you have a Casper mattress there, but- It's obsessively engineered and sold at a shockingly fair price. Look, I get that, but you don't have to live in the underneath to enjoy Casper's memory foam mattress with just the right amount of sink and just the right amount of bounce. You're kidding, right? Remember, you made me sleep on that horrible couch back in February's episode? Mm, yeah, no, not ringing a bell. Yeah, back when a Stranger Things parody was still relevant. Oh, yeah. But Phil, you've got so much to live for right here in the real world where you can try out a Casper mattress free for 100 nights in your own home and take $50 off any mattress order by going to casper.com slash WWMM and entering the promo code WWMM at checkout. Phil, come back. I'm here. I was just messing with you. What? For three months? Where, where were you? The underneath. Underneath your bed. <laughs> now the fun part, let's go try it out. This is my swimming pool. You wouldn't believe by looking at me, but I could easily do five, six laps in this thing. This is so exciting. What's it gonna do? Will it race? Or will it sing? Wow, I mean, it's like lightning.